Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and Season 2 of Taskmaster. So if you haven't seen Taskmaster in a while or you're new to Taskmaster, what happens is I take on other content creators in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts on YouTube, Stealth 17, Spartan Leap 43 and the Serious Strategy Gamer. And every month, or at least that's the plan at the moment, we have a kind of linked series of challenges and uh, last month, June, I ended up coming third, uh, which actually I'm not too, too displeased with. I think I did okay. Um, I just got a bit of lucky on a couple of them and made some stupid mistakes on some others. Anyway, new season, points go back to zero, and we're straight into a new challenge. And again, uh, season two has been written by myself. Um, now... I don't get to try out these scenarios after I write them, so I try very hard to make them interesting and balanced. And uh, this one, eh, well, you've probably guessed what I've been watching that inspired this. Anyway, um, we are going up against a German battleship, a battlecruiser, a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, and a destroyer or a torpedo boat, depending on the year. Depending on the year, you may ask. Well... What does that mean? Well, we get one ship. And which ship we choose determines the year that of the enemy that we're going up against. If I go for a battleship, then it's 1935. Battlecruiser is 1929. Heavy cruiser is 1918. Light cruiser is 1906. And a destroyer is 1900. But we stay at 1940s tech. Uh, I can choose the range as well. And the points... Uh, like last season, there are five points available each week. Um, one point is to just win the battle, sink all the enemies. One is take no damage to my engines or steering, um, which you can see is the little red, red and black icons that come up above the ships. Uh, win the battle within 20 minutes game time, a point. And lastly, win the battle without the enemy ships landing a single hit on your ship, two points. Now, last season we all started off with a zero, so my thought is a heavy cruiser, which means I'm going up against 1918 tech Germany, because I reckon I can build a heavy cruiser that can take out a dreadnought from this kind of era reasonably. I don't think I'm going to get the 2.1, I think that's for... People who are bold and go for a destroyer and go for long-range torpedo sniping. But I'm terrible at that. So I'm just going to go for every cruiser. Um, we'll go for the biggest heavy cruiser we get. Uh, look at it. The two towers. We'll go for the cheaper one. And I don't get a choice in the secondary tower. Uh... All right, let's look at uh, tech. Probably going to go diesels. I probably still will have a speed advantage in that case. 60 smoke. I could go two of those. Or one of those. Uh, 99. This is 115. We'll go for two funnels. And I'm actually going to go for that go for three potentially but I'm gonna go for a look like that I think that looks quite nice uh, main guns uh, they're all mark fives I'm gonna go with the biggest and I think I'm gonna go ABX triple nothing particularly shocking from me yeah, somewhere about there um, because I reckon even those triple elevens should be able to punch some holes in even a dreadnought. Um, secondary guns would be nice to have. Uh, let's make them triples. Plenty five inch should deal pretty nicely with the light cruiser and destroyers. And then of course it wouldn't be a Monrovian ship without uh, two inch guns liberally placed to uh, keep the orcs on board happy. And 
it would be nice to have torpedo launcher just in case the uh, the dreadnought in particular proves too tricky to deal with and I think a single quintuple located right behind the rear turret will work fine. I know that means I have an halfway offset which I will fix by moving this forward. Uh, yeah, that kind of works. I know it's a little bit weird putting the launcher there um, but it means it doesn't interfere with the rotation of the main gun too much. I might go with a smaller launcher actually, I might go with a quad. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that doesn't impact on it very much at all. Um, I have a little bit of a four way up, so let's bring that back a little bit. Okay. Let's go for a turbo electric drive, good shaft, we don't need range, because we can jump through time, so it's fine. <laughs> Anti-floods, uh, shouldn't need torpedo protection, he says, hopefully. Uh, definitely want radar and things like this. Uh, torps, I'm going to go for the uh, FU torpedoes. Electro Hydro auto loading turrets. And I'm going to go two powder super heavies on the shells just so that I have maximum punch so that I can take out any ship that I'm likely to encounter with guns, at least in theory. Uh, needs me plenty of weight on the gamma check to speed, but let's go maximum bulk hits. And we should be able to get up to a reasonable speed with this thing. 32 knots, 32 knots, that's fine. And then the rest is gonna go on armor. So yeah, it's another Munro super armored uh, heavy cruiser. Uh, let's go for, I reckon I'm gonna want eight on the belt, um, just to protect against things like eight inch casemate guns and stuff like that. Deck armor, we'll go six, three. Should be plenty. Uh, let's keep six on the turret tops. Turret faces will go all the way up to 20. It should make them pretty much immune to enemy fire. At conning tower, let's bring that up to the main belt armor. Uh, six on the secondary uh, guns. Uh, leaves me a little bit of armor left. Uh, I'd actually just prefer to have the belt extended a bit higher just to keep out you know, smaller guns mostly. Uh, but 9.9 .9 inches plus 118% should pose a reasonable deterrent. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, our weight offset. So I doubt I'll be, uh, in fact, I'm, I'm not gonna get the five points. I'm probably only gonna end up, uh, end up with three. That's the plan. Get in, win within 20 minutes. Don't take any serious damage. That's the plan. Let's go. We'll see if it works. I'm going to take a more cautious approach. <laughs> I wonder if... I'm really curious to see what the other guys do, because if you go the battleship, you're pretty much... Also, I, I reckon if you go anything heavier than the heavy cruiser, you're not going to get that two points. I reckon it's only doable with the light or the destroyer. I could be completely wrong on that. Um... I'm just curious if anyone's tempted to go for the destroyer. I didn't set my range. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, I can set the range to whatever I want. I think I left it at 13. Uh, this should be good. Right. Right. How far away are they? 12. Yeah, I did leave it at 13. Okay, well, that's not too bad, actually. That's far enough away that I can, um, I can get a read on them and close in uh, without accidentally ending up in a scenario where I'm really struggling. That is one of those you I love this German armoured cruiser that they get like a dreadnought put through a <laughs> reducing on a photocopier. Right, where's the dreadnought? Here we go. That's a lot of guns. Okay. Battle cruiser's pretty heavily armed as well. That's the lovely little armoured cruiser. 
light cruiser, well, semi-protected cruiser, whatever you want to call it, and a destroyer with six tubes. Okay, not not the worst thing in the world. Uh, oh, quite like the look of this. Looks a bit like a USS Salem, I guess. Uh, definitely looks like a US heavy cruiser. Anyway, um, torpedoes off, and uh, let's let's get to it. Accuracy should be pretty good straight off the bat. Yeah, three percent. Get in there and tangle. I'm assuming they're using 14 inch guns. Uh, yep, 14 on the back ship, 14's on the back cruiser. Okay, if they can make a dent, we just have to uh, hope that we don't. Take an unlucky hit and hope that that armor scheme is sufficiently beefy to prevent serious damage. Looks like we are engaging this up heavy cruiser. Good hit. Actually, it's very good at like 40%. A little bit of damage, I've definitely lost the two points. Kaiser in Augusta does have a torpedo launcher, so I can't be too stupid, but we are rapidly causing problems to it. Maximum bulkheads, though. Still, that is a lot of flooding on board. Uh, if you're wondering what the point for the damage icons is, it's these ones at the top here. Oh, and a flash fire. Nice. Two lights. Still going. Credit to that heavy cruiser. It is doing rather well. I'm taking a lot more damage than I thought I would. Which I don't like. Where am I getting hit? Stern. No, that's me. Where am I getting hit? 14 inch belt extended, see? Mm. Mods sink. Sink is a good little ship. Thank you. The uh, main guns on the battleship and the secondaries onto the destroyer. To get ourselves angled a bit against those 14s. Partial pins. No, don't sail into the wreck. I know your anti avoidance system is kicking in, which makes you drive into things but stop it. I'm like, uh, it's only an 11 inch, well, nearly 12 inch bell, I guess. Where's our 10 chance? 35, okay. Not as high as I would like. But we're going to try a torpedo strike. We're only 3 kilometers out. I know these are super visible torpedoes. But uh, get a good shot. You can take it. So we come alongside. See there now, shells bouncing off. That's what I like to see. Here's to normal, very close now. Oh! <laughs> Tokyo is off. What did they fire at? The battle cruiser. Okay. Looks like the Kaiser Wilhelm had a bit of a problem there. Uh, what happened to you? Cordite, that's what happened to you. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Cordite. Always a pleasure. Right, it's come about. I don't think we'll hit the battle cruiser with those torps, but you never know your luck. Oof. Oh shit, lost point. 
<laughs> oh, god damn it. It's 14 inch guns hitting me when I was wasn't paying attention. Down goes the uh, destroyer. Oh, the battle cruiser did get hit by a torpedo. Ooh dear, minimum bulkheads. You are sunk, my friend. Even if you don't know it yet. Yep, there we go. Just the light cruiser left. Emden, which shouldn't pose too much of a problem. It does have a torpedo tube somewhere. But hopefully we can take it down very quickly. Come on. Forty-three or something like that. Uh, so within the twenty minutes, I did sink all the enemies. I did not do it without uh, damages the engine or steering, which is really annoying. I thought that armor would be enough, but apparently not. Um, and yeah, definitely not the one with getting no hits. Um, so two points, two out of five to start off uh, the the challenge and I'm very curious to see to start off the season and I'm very curious to see how the others, others did go check out the videos link in the description of the video there's a link as well to my discord if you want to send me scenarios and there's a link to my patreon as well if you want to support the channel thank you very much and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts bye bye